Hello, my name is Gail Morton. I'm going to show you how to use CQ Researcher for public health. I'll go to the main library page, libraries.mrsa.edu. I'm going to scroll down to research guides and tutorials. I want to point something out. If you know the database's name, you can click here. Oh, and there was an error. But usually there is a um, like an alphabetical type box. And if you click on it, you'll see. Let's see if we can just browse it directly. Yeah, here we go. Usually there's like a, a little box that pops up with the alphabet in it. That was the first time it went bloop. Okay, so I'm going to click on C. Because I know I want to go to CQ Researcher. And it takes me to all the C's. And that is at the bottom. That's if you know the name of the database that you want. Let's just say you want to look in here. I'll, that CQ Researcher is also in a research guide and tutorial for public health. So here I am at Health Professions. It's public health. And I'm going to scroll down until I see CQ Researcher. Okay, so CQ Researcher is it's not a peer-reviewed um, database. What it is, is they are um, journalists and they have full-length articles that have like historical backgrounds, they have chronology, the pro-con feature, which I find is really helpful, especially when I'm trying to write an argumentative paper. Um, I'm going to type an issue in. Let's just do water quality. Okay. Water drinking, water safety. Looks good. Here's some topics over here. Okay. The nation's aging water infrastructure. Good quality water. So here's an introduction. And an overview, something about Flint, Michigan, if you've been following that story. Okay. I'm going to bring your attention over here to the pro-con. I really want to point this out. These are not peer-reviewed, but they are people who have a background in this subject. So, for, okay, he wants, is it doing enough to set water quality standards? The Vice President of Reason Founder, written for GQ, researcher in 2016. And McCon, Chemicals Policy, he's just a director. Okay, they are experts in their field, but these are not peer reviewed. This is their opinion. And this will give you two sides of an issue. If you're looking to write an argument in a paper, you know, pick a side and see what the other side is saying. So it's good for that. Other things that you can look at is a uh, chronology. Okay, here's a chronology of the infrastructure, water. Started in the 1800s. Okay. And it goes through 2016. Okay. We have that. Maps and graphs. This is helpful in case you need some stats. They can government stats in here. Okay, you can see here's a chart, and here's the source, American Society of Civil Engineers, and here it is. So you can use these for your paper. Light in the water. Okay, here's your current situation, which is really good too. Bring your attention over here. Here's an issue tracker. Drinking water safety, protecting the oceans. So these are related reports. If you like it, you can download this entire report as a PDF. Here's the site tool. Okay. It immediately goes into APA. 
Now I don't, like I said I, before, I don't know if this is, you might not know if it's 100% correct, so you may have to edit it. At first glance, this looks about right. Export citation too, and here's all these. But mainly you can just copy and paste that into your paper. Make sure you edit it. If you need help with your citations, get in a contact with me through email or chat or we can do video conferencing and we can go over your citations together before you turn your paper in. Okay, so this is how you see two researcher for public health.